Hello, everybody, and welcome to Unboxing Day with Billy Tucci. And let's open the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics, 6th edition. Kapow! Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. All right, everybody, this came in the mail today uh, from my great friend, uh, the uh, vice president of Gemstone Publishing, JC Vaughn, also the uh, uh, editor of She, um, Return of the Warrior, She Haikyo, She Sakura. He'll also he's also written several issues of She, and uh, he's just become a, a longtime friend who was a professional colleague who is one of my best friends now. So um, I'm excited to get this book. I know exactly what this is. This uh, is my I believe it's my cover. Um, so let's uh, check it out. Now I'm not really big. On to grading comics, slab comics. I just don't really know so and much about them. You know, I'm a big fan though of of CBCS, CGC. Uh, you know, you gotta, you know, uh, I think it's really cool what they do by slabbing the books and and having them, um, you know, I guess protected for posterity. Uh, and that's why they make omnibuses. You know, I mean, there is something about cracking open an old time comic, you know, and smelling that newspaper, you know, that newsprint smell. But uh, it's also a great way to preserve this truly, truly uh, American art form. And uh, so let's give it a whirl. Really bat box very well. It's heavy. So I don't know if there's several copies in here or it's one big book. I have no idea. So let's open her up. Righty then. How does this open? I assume that it opens here. Let's see. Take the handy dandy. Italian army knife, old, you know, classic Italian army knife, <clears throat> utility knife they had. Just be careful because you never know what's in there. Okay, so this looks like this folds down. <clears throat> so much for being careful. Well, heck, I'm excited. Oh, look at this. Pops open. Duh. There you go. I never said I was the brightest crayon in the box. Well, as you can tell, this thing is super packed, packed super tight. Far out, here it is. All right, so comes in this beautiful box. I have to inquire about this box. Uh, I don't know if it's a U-line. I don't know where it comes from, but this looks perfect for our um, on the bus, which is launching next month. But uh, here it is. So what we have here, nice and bubble wrap, perfectly. Let's put this together. Oh, there's a hard bound too. I got a soft cover and a hard cover. Thank you, old bean. Um, yeah, so we're gonna open up the, the soft cover. Really nice book, thick book, uh, great glossy cover. I'm gonna keep this in, in the bag. It's uh, $34.99. Incidentally, this book comes out, uh, will be actually in stores uh, next Wednesday, which is April 28th, 2021. For the sixth edition. This is also, again, this is the sixth edition, but as Jeff told me, uh, this is the first time they ever, uh, let's put this knife away, shall we? Uh, it's also the very first edition uh, that they used original art, and I was commissioned by Gemstone to draw Miss Fury. And of course, you know, the classic Star Wars number one and uh, Action Comics number one, uh, but real nice cover, um, nice paper. I'd say this 50 pound. Maybe 60 pound interior stock. Uh, good ads. Uh, my boy Tom Gordon, Flash, uh, with Hakes Comic Auctions. You know, your typical things. You know, of course, look at that. The, you know, CGC ad with, you know, a lot of ads promoting it with the great Scott Campbell, amazing Spider Man cover. Uh, auctions. And here it is, a sixth edition um, by Robert Overstreet. Uh, here's the contributors, contributing writers. You have Weldon Adams, uh, Grant 80, Steve Borak, uh, William, uh, Bill Cole. Tom Gordon, uh, a bunch of them, J.C. Vaughn, Amanda, Amanda Sharif, Matt Nelson, Caitlin McGurk, and John McClure. Uh, Mark Huseman did the layout and design. Uh, there, Mark's also an editor. So is Amanda. So is J.C. Vaughn. And uh, special advisors, of course. And uh, here it is. So I had the honor. Bob Overstreet wrote his nice letter. And again, this is 
It gives you great table of contents. So it tells you about your, your graded comics, about having slab comics, about having them graded. It gives you all of the, the grading sections. So it gives you, you know, from Gem Mint, which is, you know, superior, which is a 10 to 9.9, 9.8, anything's in the, in the nines, you know, near mint, minus near mint, near mint plus nine fours up to very fine. I mean, you can't go wrong with it, but uh, great articles, uh, you know, uh, collecting by character by JC Vaughn, collecting by genre, uh, collecting by company by Weldon Adams, history of publisher experimentation and variant comic books, uh, you know, million dollar comics. I mean, it gives you it all. And then what it does is, you know, a nice little introduction about um, uh, about, you know, what are, you know, collect, you know, slab comics. What, what is it about grading issues? And uh, and then we get into it. So then we jump and gives you see, it gives you a really great description. Obviously, I think this is a 40 pound. It's probably a yeah, maybe a 50 pound. It gives you a, a really good indication of what a graded comic is. So if we go to, say, 9.4, OK, near mint. Uh, it's nearly po perfect with only minor imperfections that keep it from the next higher grade. Minor feathering that does not distract from the overall beauty of the otherwise higher grade copy is acceptable for this grade. Um, the overall look uh, is as if it was just published, uh, just purchased and read once or twice. So, uh, and it really gives you a really in-depth uh, uh, look into a graded comic. And, uh, and then look, so now we have, look at this. So, of course, a lot of great articles. Um, look at this, uh, uh, 10 Gem Mint. It's giving you, uh, look at this, Sharp Corner. So it, it gives you the breakdown of what determines a Gem Mint comic uh, and actually helps you and teaches you. So it's just not a calibrate, you know, it's, it, look at this. It gives you an entire um, uh, look into books and how they grade it. So this is a, a great, again, it is a perfect uh, guide uh, of, uh, you know, uh, what an 8.0 would be. It's a very fine comic. Slight staple stress lines on the wear. It's missing a staple, say. The corner's got a chip. Uh, you know, there's a bit of a crease, the corner crease. But overall, it's in great shape. Man, I have an amazing Spider-Man, number, you know, a number 50 in an 8.0. I'd be happy with that. But it, so it's giving you all, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. It's giving you all the... All, all the ins and outs exactly deciphering what makes this comic a 9.2, say. So, you know, that it's Superboy number one. Um, you know, the 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 mad. The tale's calculated to drive you mad. <laughs> Fun stuff. Um, I keep going to 9.4 because I have a little uh, a little gift here to, to show, something to show people. So it's talking about, and it gives you, you know, the cover inks a gloss, bright, and they got to be high reflective, re re reflective, reflectivity, um, spine splits, not allowed. It, it won't, it will not, it will not, um, make the grade, if you will, of a 9.4. So, uh, you know, here it is, here comes bullet man. Love that character. Uh, but it gives you a really great thing about, uh, look at these tens, man. You know, and, and uh, it gives you the insight. Lots of articles. It's really, it, I think this is something that everyone who collects comics should have a guide like this. Not unlike the Overstreet Guide to Collecting Comics, which I have the 48th edition right here, which I have yet to open. With, you know, the with the great uh, Sook, uh, Ryan Sook cover with the Planet of the Apes. Uh, it's still in the bag because I even like mine to keep. Uh, so uh, the Overstreet Guide to Comics, the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics, which actually teaches you and helps you learn how to grade comics yourself. Big book. Um, man, I don't even know how many pages. Is oh, well, 419, 420. 420 pages, 422 pages, 422 pages of of uh, entertainment, but also obviously very informative, uh, slabbed in 420 pages. Nice big book, great spine. And I'd have to say, looking at this as I've been playing around with it, I'd say that that's a 9.8 and this is a 10 because I'm leaving it here just like that. Uh, and speaking of that, I had this, so uh, I was I was uh, asked to do a Miss Fury cover. I believe, um, uh, colored by the great Wes Hartman, and we added, you know, I, I couldn't reproduce uh, this. So one's a CGC book and one's a CBCS, uh, two different companies, two of the most popular uh, grading com um, uh, uh, companies out there, most reputable, and uh, it was a lot of fun doing it. And I just happen to have the original art right here. So obviously I, I started to draw the actual um, – 
you know, the actual comics themselves. And that just wasn't happening. That was just not happening. Let me see if I can go a little higher with this. Let's see here. Apologies for the amateurism of this, but uh, there it is. It's, it's, if I take it out of it, my plastic sheet supplied by Hot Flip Supplies. There it is. So there's your cover. A lot of fun inking it. Wanted to ink it in the style of June Tarpe Mills. Uh, that she had these very scratchy lines, but it, and of course it is fur. But there she is. There's Marla Drake. And then, of course, look what Wes, I mean, Wes just knocked it out of the park. And there's your glossy cover. And uh, speaking of graded comics, I owe a few. I think I have some 9.8s of Heroes for Hire number one that I had done for Marvel Comics. But here's something that someone gave me as a gift. It's a 9.4. Um... Uh, CBCS edition of our She Way the Warrior number one San Diego Comic Con still in the bag San Diego Comic Con um, commemorative edition. Uh, it's a virgin cover, has no logo on it, and the funny thing, the cool thing about this is I didn't have anything for San Diego Comic Con from 1994. She Way the Warrior had sold out. She the Way the Warrior number two was out. She the Way the Warrior number three was not coming out for a, a month or two. Um, so we decided to make a black and white. And uh, signed by Billy Tucci at the 20, uh, 9-11, 2015 at the Alamo City Comic Con. And someone gave me this. So, uh, you know, reprinted art by Billy Tucci. So, again, cool thing about when you have a slab comic, they give you all this detail. They give you, uh, you know, the little, uh, uh, what's that thing for your phone, the little track, whatever. You take your phone and you click it and it gives you all the information. But it tells that it's reprinted It's reprinted art by me, uh, by Barry Orkin, by Harry Mercado Ducasio. Uh, the, re the story, they tell you what the reprinted story is about me and Peter Gutierrez, my co-writer on the project. And it reprints She Way the Warrior number one. Nice barcode. Gives you all the information so you can, and I guarantee that'll go, and that'll go right to the, either to the book, uh, and it'll give you all the information. And that's what's so cool about these. And now I have this comic, which I really don't have it because we sold them out. Um, if I do, it's maybe in a box somewhere. But uh, I got this light. Let me see if I turn. Yeah, I got, I'm going to need the light on, fellas, so I... If I do that, maybe boys and girls. There you go. So here it is. So there's my uh, there's my slab comic, and I will cherish this forever. And uh, again, the Overstreet Guide to, to uh, the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics, hardcover edition and soft cover edition, uh, brought to you, trade paperback edition, brought to you by the people that bring you the Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide, which is the the be all end all of of great of of. Uh, pricing your comics and seeing how much they're worth. And uh, just beautiful. Well done, Robert Overstreet. Um, nice, nice size book. This is comic size. This is a little bigger, obviously, because it's that. And there's the original art. So uh, did this pop? Oh, heck, yes, it popped. First of all, because I'm just excited that I have, you know, a book <laughs> with my art on it. And it's a great honor to have been the first artist commissioned to do a cover uh, along with Wes Hartman for the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics. So thank you all, and uh, I will see you guys soon. So uh, let's do this. we get that little light out. There you go. Kapow. See you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.